<laughs> I gotta tell you. My wife and I were supposed to go to Costco today, and I talked her into going to the local drag strip. So, um, you know what? I need to get a thumbs up for that. You need to smash that like button, uh, comment, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to the drag strip. We're off. Check it out. I uh, de badge the, uh, the scripted challenger off the front. Let's start. I mean, everybody knows this is a challenger. I mean, it's not like we have to tell you in the front. Unless you're with the media, then of course, it's a charger. I want to ask you guys, listen to this tick. Hear that tick? Is that a problem? I had that ever since I got the car. Kind of muffles down. See how it just went down a little bit? Not doing it now. What, what the hell is that? Does anybody know? Does that something I gotta take it in for? Comment, and please. So, me and Sue went out to dinner. Sue and I went out to dinner last night. And we went to this restaurant. They usually make really good, cook really good steaks. You got a filet, this petite filet. This thing was like really tiny. Or something. There goes my GoPro. Um, really small. Anyway, my point that I'm trying to make is, we went there once before, and their thanks, baby, and their um, their water. I can't hold this GoPro down. <laughs> their water tasted. Oh, their tap water was so bad. And if you got a restaurant and you don't use a water filter, I mean, what the is wrong with you? think about that for a minute you know if somebody orders a soda or they make an iced tea because I used to get an iced tea there and I, I sent it back last time this time I remembered that it was crappy and took, I a, said took a sip oh it's my wife she had to remind me that she remembered not me because I was gonna get a tea and she goes I don't think you liked it last time and uh I'm just gonna hold this thing um took a sip of the water it was terrible I don't know why restaurants don't buy water filters um, I don't know that's just that's just terrible but I mean it sounds like a little bit of a rant but geez if they can't take the effort in doing that then uh, and they charge thirty one dollars yeah this, I think I think the steak that I was gonna get was twenty seven dollars and how much was yours your petite one it was a, like a three ounce. Four ounce. It was a. It didn't look like four. Ounce. Tiny little thing. She got. It was like this big. It was like that big. And that, oh my god. Anyway, whatever. Um, but everything else was really good. Um, I got salmon. That was cooked really well. Um, the calamari was kind of overdone, dried out. So yeah. we're going to this Benson place. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. I got it because I go. I just put it in there. Favorites. Galat Racing. Oh, two. Go. Let's see how long. At the end of the road, turn left All right. on North Carolina 97, so West Gaylord Avenue. Here we go. Got to put this thing in track mode. Also, if you guys have a wide body, I can hear, I can hear my tires on this road. You can hear the louvers rattling a little bit too. All right, catch you in a little bit. So I watched a video where Driveway Demon was saying it. It shifts. Oh, it does shift out. Okay, so I had it in fourth for about uh, one thousand feet. Turn left. Twenty or thirty seconds. Take the next left onto US 64 westbound. And this car did switch in a drive. I didn't think it would, but I guess it does. I'm in sport mode too. I had it down in fourth. And it was staying in fourth, staying in fourth. And uh, I didn't do anything, I'm just driving along. And then it automatically did switch to drive. So he was telling the truth. 
Alright, so we're in Benson, we're getting gas. Car likes gas. It's up to three three oh seven a gallon now. But it's uh warming up. Kind of kind of a nice day here today. <clears throat> so tracks opening up in a little while. Well I think the tracks are already open, but the event doesn't start till three, so we should be there in just a little bit. Catch you in a minute. Well this place is really out here in the country. Prepare away. to turn left in half a mile. Hmm. Half a mile. Now, where we ate lunch at, they said the place was there for seven years and it wasn't on my GPS. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Drag Strip Road. Take the next left onto Drag Strip Road. I need to get a sign that says Drag Strip Road and put it on my driveway. Yellow is sold there. What's that? I just saw a sign that ammo is sold right there. <laughs> right next to we buy ammo down buy here. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up to the track. It's pretty. Pretty area, yeah. Oh, look at the stands. Only like 10 bucks to get in this place. I mean, you really need to support your local tracks and stuff. A little cold up. It's temperature 61. These people are real convenient on the track. Mm. Having a wedding. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on. So we went in the wrong entrance. The GPS guided me into like I was racing, so he there was a guy there and he told me to come out here so this is the correct entrance now um, looks like a turn in here somewhere looks like a pretty nice track ten dollars let me go pay well this is odd they got all oh, these it's a rodeo oh it's a rodeo oh Oh, I thought it was a drag race. It was a rodeo today. Hello. <laughs> well, this is even going to be more fun. Ain't that something? Beautiful. Never been to a rodeo before. Thank you. I don't know where I go. So we're at a drag strip, but it's a rodeo. It's a rodeo, honey. So, um, <laughs> well, that's it's, good. It's a memorial rodeo. Oh, this is going to be really good because of Veterans Day, right? I think so. And, um, oh, what a nice surprise. All right. And Tony was telling me something about testing, too. Where am I supposed to park? I don't know where I'm supposed to park. I don't even know. She, just... said, she said keep following the house. All right. Here, this has All right. to help. My wife just called me a goober because I told her we're going to a drag race and she didn't want to go. And then we find out it's a rodeo and now she's she's psyched. I know there's a lot of wind here, but so yeah, this is going to be a great show. <laughs> so they're cooking up some fresh kettle corn. They got barbecue and ribs. Smells good. Oh, it's Tracy's boots, honey. That's where you got your other boots from. Funnel cakes. We got merch. Did y'all hit that like and subscribe button? If you didn't, please hit it for me. Do appreciate it.
The Cowboys and Cowgirls, they're all here in town, and I'm looking at them right now. I see some of those past world champions. I see some of the reigning world champions, and I also see some of the number one contenders in the race for the 2019 Gold Buckle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll look to Friels and Elgin. As they add up the scores, tally them up, use your fingers, use your toes. Of that. We look to Harold Oakley now. Looks like we're going to be 71 points for the leadoff man. 71. How about it? Make a little more from Tyler Braxton. Now, we look to the judges. We look to the Supreme Court. You're going to watch him in the bareback riding. We're going to watch him in the saddlebar riding a little later. He is trying to qualify in both events. He is the number 19 ranked bareback rider. He needs a little money today. 71 or better, Blair. Come on. He was a high school superstar. Premature that eight second buzzer. All that man is going to receive is what you give him in the bareback run. It's open. Get ready. All right, here. Uh -oh. Cole Hartzell, Brian Lockerbie. Yes! Hello. 
anger. Yes. Oh. 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 Parcel on the head side for all around Cowboys. Would have been 6.2, but we get a hind leg, five second penalty, we get a barrier of 10, that's 15 in penalties. 21 and Back two. Back to winner, Mitchell, Ontario, Canada. The number two ranked team in the world. Yeah. You yeah. 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 the last one, but no to optional. Folks, he is the number one ranked all-around cowboy in the world. Nobody in professional rodeos won more money in 2019. Tell him thanks for coming and tell him thanks for bringing the rodeo here. Cody Rousseau, the big man. Alvar, Ontario, six foot four. There's one of our six four, 280 pound cowboys who wears a belt buckle made of gold. 6.1 on a Sunday afternoon. Tell that former world champion from Canada, thanks for choosing Benson. Woo! He's been out of the top 15 all year long. And right now, we're trying to make a late season push to the international finals. We watched her get a piece of the pie in Greensboro, Georgia. Go on, Tracy. Turn number 10 to the rear view. for Tracy. Let's go to Matawan, Michigan. In the world. She's 12 years old and she's going to qualify here. She's going to qualify here. Her daddy holds her all over the country. Come on, baby. Let's make dreams come true on a Sunday afternoon. Come on, help her. Help her. Help her. Oh, she's 12 years old. She's the number 12 ranked lady in the world. 22 hours from home, my friend. All right, Jan, get them ramped up and rocking. Her tie down strap, her shirt and boots say she's tough enough to ride in pink. Talk about that. Gold pink t shirts on sale for $20 at the Glock Merch Trader. 100% of the proceeds go to local families battling breast cancer. Come on, we got to hurry. Looks like we're gonna be. I'm looking at the ladies on top. 17, 279, 17, 279. Mommy, look, I want that one. You just watched a 12 year old go to the lead. This is another one of our young superstars of professional rodeo. It's a family affair. We go to Kerry Frazier. Lincoln University, Pennsylvania. They come from all over. If you don't know the truth, 14 states, Canada, Australia. When I said 13 earlier, I didn't see the lady from PA. A little wide on turn one. We go to Mansfield, North Carolina. Rebecca Owens. Rebecca Owens has been a qualifier in the Southern Finals Rodeo. And I want you to watch this little lady on a great big ball face house. She's revving up right now. When she dumps the clutch, it's peel out 35 miles an hour. Holy moly, look at the size of this like horse. Rolling ball fire. Seventeen three 
305 for Rebecca 17, 305. We go to Haley Haas. Fuquay for Ryan, North Carolina. Yeah. All right, you're making noise while she's getting ready. I want you folks to get behind her and help her the whole way through. I want you to help her for the next 15 or 16 seconds. <laughs> that was so that was wild i didn't know i've never been to this place before this galat uh motorsports park i didn't know that they had a drag strip and they have another one that's uh for tractor pulls i guess it's tractor pulls mud bog or whatever but that's the one that was open and that's the one that had this rotary rodeo that we went to so uh that was pretty neat because i was like where's the track I just saw all the dirt down there, and that's what that was all about. So, Sue got me this shirt, and uh, this is pretty cool because you know Veterans Day is coming up. But um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh oh, here comes Magic Man. Got to check out my shirt. But um, yeah, fifteen dollars each to get in. Um, and then I was like, uh, I got preferred parking. There's free parking, but I, I didn't want to park in the grass. And uh, Sue was having a problem with her legs. So, you know, I got the, the park up front, parking <laughs> pass, pit pass type thing. And uh, we went up there. And as we're pulling in, we see all the horse trailers and all the horse. I'm like, okay, what kind of race is this? But, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Um, so it was a rodeo. And... Uh, Hope you guys liked the film or the video. Um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. I don't want to do the same old mundane thing on my videos. I think you guys would get bored. What, what am I going to do? Burnouts every time on every video? That's, you guys would get tired of that. So anyway, um, yeah. So we got some other cool stuff coming up too. Anyway, um, be sure to mash that uh, like button. Hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. And, uh, oh my God, I only need like 20 something more subscribers. I wanted to do a live, I wanted to do a live feed from the, uh, from the rodeo. I couldn't, I don't have a thousand subscribers. And I was trying to do a live feed when we had a tornado, live tornado on the ground, but I couldn't do it because, you know, so anyway, I'm hoping you guys, uh, will, if you see this video, you subscribe. I need to get a thousand at least. Thank you. Bye.